Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to watch and react on the sixth episode of the TV show The Crown on Netflix. In the previous episode, um, it was basically um, the coronation of Elizabeth and her, how uh, she was dealing with um, her husband who wanted to change a lot of things and um, and who refused to bend the knee because she was not only the queen but her, 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 his wife and at the end he still bent the knee um, I read your comments obviously on the, the previous video and so I saw that um, the show wanted to make Elizabeth more f like femi um, a feminist or something like that and that was not true because the, the previous uh, queens were accepted. I, I don't remember exactly what the com comment was but uh, thank you for telling me. Uh, uh, as you may know I'm not English I'm not British, uh, I'm French, so all of this is not um, very known in my country. Uh, we study uh, uh, history, obviously, but um, not all the queens of England, obviously. And, um, and yeah, thank you for giving me this information. Um, that's why I love doing this reaction because I get to uh, know more um, about the show or hear about the history and that's so cool. Um, anyway, uh, with no further ado, let's get to the episode and I will tell you right after what I think about it. See ya. Yeah, that's the coronation. No? No, just a queen in her car. <laughs> oh yeah, the Derby, yeah. Okay. Thanks to the coronation, your sister is now the most famous woman in the world. <laughs> I'm the luckiest. Not a romantic trip to India, sir. Official duty, Patricia. <laughs> With the man I love. Secretly, love. I will be the happiest. Mm, they're cute. Okay, good sir. Thanks, Mary. Thanks, it's Princess Margaret. What about her? Leaving the Abbey on the day of the coronation, I saw her picking a piece of fluff off a man's uniform. Fluff? Yes, fluff. Jesus, Bill, I thought we did serious reporting here. This is serious. <laughs> the man in question, her father's former query, Group Captain Peter Townsend, is a commoner. And, wait for it, a divorced commoner. Historically, when this lot brush up against divorce, you end up with either reformation or abdication. Will church and state crash again? It's a big story. And so a uh, comet jet plane is dropping out of the sky. Stalin's death ushering in a power reshuffle in the Soviet Union. Can you write it up, Chief? I've got a feeling about this one. Based on what? What are you doing, man? Picking fluff off a man's jacket. That's a gesture as intimate as a kiss. More intimate since it suggests a kiss has already happened. No, I'm sorry, Bill. I can't yeah. the Their relationship isn't going to be a secret anymore. You. Make sure it's deadly. Make sure it pops. Yes, sir. Yeah. The Princess Margaret and Her Majesty. Yes, sir. Breakfast room. The breakfast room? Yes, sir. 
Um, that's a lot of fork just for coal. <laughs> Peter, Peter. She feels like something is going on with her sister. That's all she needs to say. Oh. Hello. 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 Her outfits, they're just so pretty. Is hungry. And we reached a decision in April, wasn't it? Uh, just before the coronation. Um, that uh, one day uh, we wanted to. Um, you know. Many? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Goodness. Well, of course, we, we're aware of the, the complications and issues at stake. And what did everybody know for a while about Peter and I? It's not really be a terrible shock to you. <laughs> no, not at all. It's wonderful. Is there anything you'd like to ask us? Does your wife know? Your ex-wife? She does. We had a frank conversation. There is no animosity. Mm -hmm. Good. And the boys? Uh, they know and seem very happy. So, do I have your permission? What a sovereign. She wasn't suspecting this to decide, you know, for of course I had to take advice. the the waiting of her sister. Well, all official matters, but 
If it's what you desire. More than anything in the world. And there's your sister. I'm never going to oppose it. <laughs> Well, congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> well, I suppose it's better be Philip, no? Thanks, sir. Okay. Now that's all in the past. Besides, that's why he got on with my well, father so well. Uh, not to mention the fact he's dull. He's not dull. Yes, he would be dull. I'm confident I've met more interesting plants. <laughs> Philip, stop it. Why? He's a good influence on Margaret. Is he? If you're really a good influence, he packs things up with his wife and leaves Margaret where they're left. Mm, they don't sleep in the same bed. He's writing his, his, his newspaper and it's gonna be a a mess. Well, thank you for letting me know. Of course, Tommy. Thank you for understanding. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I imagine it must be difficult being dictated to like that by an employee. I wasn't dictated to. Am I missing something? You said this editor was telling you what he was going to print in your newspaper. He is, but I can't keep telling him what to write. I thought that was the point of owning a newspaper. Look, <laughs> I'm not trying to help you, Tommy. I suggest you see this for the kind of gesture that it is. Mm. Is he going to do something or...? identifying Peter Townsend not just as the companion of Princess Margaret but as her likely future husband. We understand that the paper is to feature a profile of Group Captain Townsend, details of his marriage and subsequent divorce, along with an editorial about other notable divorcees who have been associated with members of the royal family. Shit. Mm -hmm. Well, we even get married in the church. Well, I'd have to check, but I hope so. That would be so lovely. Elizabeth, thank you so much. Make my life a lot easier, too. Sorry, Lilibet. What for? I think you're going to get a visit from Mummy about all this. Oh. I realise I'm not making anyone's life easy. Yours especially. Mm. But I'm determined... Glad to admit it. ...to give you what you want. Thank you. I can't wait to tell Peter. Let's go. She's certainly not helping her sister here. Not here, like Elizabeth just wants to help her sister or be happy, you know. I can see the advantages of that, but what's in it for her? 
I mean, she's only 23. What does she do in the meantime? In the meantime, she and Peter wait. Preferably in separate country. What? It's the only way to contain the story. Her sister will never forgive her for that. Just until your 25th birthday. Then you'd be free to do as you wish. Look me in the eye and tell me. Is it a posting or is it a banishment? It's a posting. I promise. It's just a way of managing the story, keeping it off the front pages. It's a heartless attempt to split us up. No, of course not. A part of the same for for me, he made us wait. He wants to do for two years. Two years. No. Why did you even dangle Scotland under my nose? Sorry, Margaret. Sorry. They offered me Johannesburg. No one wanted Philip. She dug her head in. Got the man she wanted, didn't she? She did. We what did she do? What is she is she going to do? Come on. No way. Kiss me. Mm. This is sad for her, but she's the queen. She can't do anything else. She has no choice. For the sake of her reign. She had to follow the rules. Yeah. Let's say ten to four hours. Things might calm down somewhere. The Randberg drum is now. A special arrangement welcome. Girls, calm down. <laughs> it's gonna be worse. She shouldn't have brought him with her. Something's up. Following consultation with the government, the Foreign Office, and Her Majesty's Press Secretary, the decision's been taken to move forward your post into Brussels with immediate effect. The car is waiting. Take you first to your apartment where you will pack and then direct it to the airfield. The plane from Brussels leaves in just under three hours. 
sure, so I'm concerned that that might not give you enough time, but I felt sure that as a military man, packing quickly and unsentimentally would come a second nature to you. But that isn't what was agreed. The agreement between Margaret and Her Majesty the Queen, with a certain knowledge of Her Majesty the Queen Mother, was that Margaret and I would spend some time together upon her return from Rhodesia, before I travelled to Brussels, 48 hours at least. Your proposal is a direct contravention of that agreement. Well, I cannot, nor would I ever presume to know the intimate details of whatever agreements have or have not been made within the family. What I can tell you is that the position of air attaché at the embassy fell vacant unexpectedly early and needs filling right away. Of course, a crucial position like the air attaché to the embassy at Brussels cannot be left vacant for very long. I ask only that it remains so until after the princess returns, as I was promised. I'm afraid that will not be possible. Hmm. you're only trying to do your job but one thing the trip to Northern Ireland has made very clear to me is that the romance between Margaret and myself has caught the public eye there is a momentum for us a sense of joy and celebration which you would be wise to acknowledge the people can clearly see the sincerity of the love between Margaret and me and I would advise you not to reprehend us for that such an act could backfire and now, if I may give you some advice in turn, Peter, that when referring to a member of the royal family, you use the appropriate title, in this case, Her Royal Highness. When referring to the woman I love, and who loves me, and who is soon to be my wife, I'll call her what I damn well like. Her name is Margaret. Carr, Townsend. Wait. Yep, 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 yep. How could you? Margaret. You gave me your word. Promise me you'd still be there when I got back. I did. Why are you that way? I'm just like some criminal. What have you got out of hand? I took you at your word. Believed everything you said. How happy you were for me. And how you would support us. Margaret. You've been against us from the beginning. Because you can't bear to be eclipsed. What? Can't bear to be outshone by your younger sister. You've never liked it. Admit it. And you've hated our Peter and I've called the popular imagination. Hated it enough to want to destroy it. This is madness. Well, you failed to protect me. I will fail to protect you in return. Margaret. You really put you so. Tim. I thought it was a secret line. Did they hear everything? Okay, that was uh, a very interesting episode. Um, this is uh, this was based on Margaret and Peter's secret relationship that has been going on for years, and now that he is divorced, uh, Margaret thought that she could, you know marry him now that he was divorced but she asked obviously her sisters and queen um consent and as the sister she was like very happy for her and she 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 gave her consent and um 
a blessing and stuff and when the when in in terms of queen she had to deal with this scandal um she had to follow the rules and listen to uh, what people uh, tell her and uh, and as such she broke the promise she made to her sister that Peter wouldn't leave uh, England until she was back from Rhodesia or something like that. Obviously Margaret, uh, when she found out, was very pissed and she said that she would, as the as her sister wouldn't protect her, she wouldn't protect her either. I don't know what that means, and I'm very um, scared. I don't know anything about this, so it's totally new for me, and uh, I don't know what's gonna happen with Margaret if she's gonna, you know. Um, be like our uncle and marry Peter in secret or just you know deny uh, the royal family and our duties to them and stuff I don't know what's gonna happen I'm very excited to know um, you can comment on this video and tell me a bit more about Margaret and um, and stuff but don't spoil me like I want to know I want to discover um, in the next episodes uh, what's going to happen with Margaret and Peter and um, this scandal. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, don't forget to uh, leave a thumbs up and to subscribe. And I will see you very soon for the next episode. Until then, take care. Bye.